Well, hello everyone. This is Hundred Tube back again, and today is a special day because today is my birthday, and with that, I'll be doing a special review. And it is not a review on one engine; it is a review on two items at once. And these items are the Thomas Ward Birthday Thomas. And the Thomas Wood Stanley. So, yep. Here is the birthday Thomas and the Thomas Wood Stanley. So, uh, let's look at the birthday Thomas first. Here it says Thomas and Friends Wood, birthday Thomas. Press the cake press cake for music well we'll see about that later on the back it says party like it's your birthday quote even if it's not um, da, da, da. no matter whose birthday it is there's plenty to celebrate spending time with friends giving or receiving gifts that's my favorite part and of course, cake. Whether it's vanilla, chocolate, fruit filled, low sugar, or even vegan. People complain about that. Nothing beats sharing a slice with friends. And then here's a picture of it, a promo of it. All right. Either way, that's the main reason this product exists. Now let's move on to the Thomas Wood. Welcome, Stanley! Yeah, you're going to hear that a lot in this video. It says, meet the boy ne next door. Because he's stylish, smart, and charming, Stanley is extremely popular. His positive attitude and compan and compassion also mean there's nothing he wouldn't do to help a friend in need. And there's a picture of him. And so, yeah. Oh, and I forgot. There's a CGI picture of Stanley. Instead of a CGI picture, we have that on the, Kate, on the birthday Thomas. Either way, let's get to unboxing these things. Alright, time for a double unboxing. Start with the birthday Thomas. Oh my. Ugh. I wasn't expecting this packaging to be this strong. Instructions. Alright, come on out, my pretty... Oh, and the cake is actually a cargo. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't. I was expecting the cake to be one whole car, but that's actually a pretty improvement. All right, get out of here. Okay, now Stanley. I tell you, this packaging is strong. Oh. Oh, and one more thing. We got Stanley at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, the Thomas Wood revolution has begun. So here are both of them out of the box. And so the first one we'll look at is the birthday Thomas. Starting with the instructions. Okay, so here are the instructions. Ooh. Just instructions on how to you place the batteries in the uh, cake. <laughs> no one cares about you, FSC. You're the main reason Thomas would exist. We hate you. Okay. So the birthday Thomas actually has some pretty cool de has some pretty cool details. He has balloons, red balloons, 
which is my favorite color. Um, he has some decorations, some streamers, some... Yeah, he has decorations all over him. And then those wood spots. They feel pretty rough. I mean, this one feels unfinished, unlike Rosie. Rosie and Young Bao, they were pretty smooth. There's his face. It's a pretty smooth nose. Painted buffers. With buffer detail. And on the other side, it's the same thing. And we have a plain back. And then, uh, it, and it says Birthday Thomas. And it's carved in. And I mean, I actually don't mind Thomas Wood now. I saw Steven at Barnes & Noble, and he's actually not that bad. Um, and, uh, well, Merwin is still pretty bad, because, uh, his, uh, side deflectors weren't, uh, detailed. Weren't black, I should say. Either way, we're getting off track. So the only, either way, we're getting off track. Now let's move on to the next car. Which is the birthday cake car. It's called the cake cargo car. And so basically, it's basically the cargo car. So this is the cargo car itself. And then there are screws to take the flatbed off of the base. So all it is is just a flatbed. Now we'll move on to the cake. Which is one of the best parts of the thing. Because if you press this number one, it does this. And I'm only going to play it once. Yeah, it does that. The candles light up, and it plays the, uh, Thomas theme from, uh, season 7 onwards to, uh, uh, what was it? The CGI season. Till, uh, late. It was like that till, uh, season 10. Either way, let's look at the birthday Thomas as a whole. So here's the birthday Thomas as a whole, and I just grabbed Dynamite Ryan because I just noticed that Ryan has Thomas Syndrome again. Ryan is a repainted Thomas! Mm, mm, mm. Okay, goodbye, Ryan. No, you're, you're no use. Okay, either way, this birthday Thomas is a really good thing. I mean, it's a really cool looking item. With lots of birthday details. And Thomas Wood actually doesn't look that bad. The only bad models are, uh, Kevin, Merlin, and Annie and Clarabelle, and Birdie the Bus. I actually saw Steven at, at, Mo at Barnes & Noble, and he actually doesn't look that bad. And I said Steven looked bad before. But Steven looks pretty good now. Oh, and one more thing. Thomas is a domeless engine now. And now, with that out of the way, I'm going to give it the rating. I give the birthday Thomas a perfect 10 out of 10. Right next to that, he's like a bit, a 10.5 out of 10, I should say. A bit higher on the list than Red Rosie. But, uh, anyway... On to the next model, which is... Welcome, Stanley! I had to. Yeah, so now we're going to look at the Thomas Wood Stanley. So, the face looks pretty good. Looks completely accurate. And... So, uh... He actually doesn't look that bad, and... Just the only thing is that his shape is deflected wrong and that his arch isn't lined up because we had to have a big gap back here yeah his arch isn't even lined up correctly 
look at that. But those are the only two little nitpicks about it. Everything else about it is actually pretty good. And then he has his name carved. It says Stanley. There are his, his uh, piston things. Yeah, I don't know what they're called. Then the detailed coal, his whistle, his dome, his flattened dome. Yeah, Stanley looks pretty decent, except for that little nitpick there where it's not lined up. This is nameplate. It says Stanley. The buffer details. Yeah, Stanley's a pretty decent model as well. It's actually a pretty good model. So, yeah. I give uh, Stanley a 9.5 out of 10. Just because of that uh, little nitpick there. So, yeah. Either way, let's look at both of them together. So here are both of them right next to each other. And now, I feel like we're going to give them a run on the Superstation. Or Thomas Wynn Railway Track this time, maybe. Yeah, I'll do both. Since uh, it's a special review and we have two engines to review this time instead of one. So we're going to run them on the Superstation and Wooden Railway Track. In three, two, one, go! Never catch me this time. Uh oh. Ah! I told you, let him have it. Because the cake survived. That's because it's a magic cake. <laughs> How did you get here? No, wait, I'm not gonna ask. And that was the run of both the Birthday Thomas and the Thomas Wood Stanley. Also, this is the uh, end of the review. So, uh, oh, and also there won't be any outro to this run because uh, there are two engines. And uh, I can't have two engines on the same row, otherwise you can only see one, and it will
will not work that well. Unless that will. Yeah, that will do for the outro. But anyway, this is basically Undertube signing off. And I know I said uh, Young Trapmaster Young Bao would be the next review, but it turns out he actually wasn't on Target's website. So anyway, this is Hunter Tube signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.